hasn't called the winner of the presidential race in two states. That's North Carolina and Georgia. Both races are close, but President Trump's expected to take North Carolina. President-elect Biden is expected to take Georgia. But when we say this race is close, we really mean it. In Georgia, it's so close that authorities there are about to do a recount of millions of ballots by hand. Rob is breaking down what that means for this country in the next few weeks because, Rob, the deadline to get that recount done is really coming up quick. <laughs> yeah, check out this November 2020 calendar. Here we are, Thursday the 12th, and the Georgia Secretary of State is required to certify the election results by November 20th. So that's just nine days to complete this entire process. This is Georgia's Secretary of State. His name is Brad Raffensperger. He's a Republican, but he's been fact-checking his own party with some members claiming there's been voter fraud. He says this election was fair, but he's working with the recount to help people feel confident in the outcome. It'll take every bit of the time that we have left. President-elect Biden currently leads in Georgia with more than 14,000 votes. So it's a close race, but not close enough for the recount to likely change the outcome. ABC News ran an analysis of recounts and found that the average change in tallies was just 282 votes. So way less than the number that President Trump would need to turn Georgia back to red. And even if that were to happen, President-elect Biden would still have more than 270 electoral votes and therefore still become the 46th president. But the next few months in Georgia will determine a lot about our national politics in a different way. They still haven't officially picked their senators. We are going to save the country. In Georgia, a Senate win isn't simply given to the person with the most votes. Their law requires the winner to get more than 50% of the vote. And that didn't happen here. So the top candidates in each race are going to compete in a runoff election on January 5th. And it's going to matter a whole lot because it will determine which party gets control of the Senate. In other words, Georgia now gets to decide if Mitch McConnell becomes the majority leader or the minority leader.